All right, guys. So I just finished at the gym. I'm gonna run back home, shower, then I'm gonna go straight to NWC. Then after NWC, I have to go to the insurance company. Then after the insurance company, I'm gonna hit up the bank. After the bank, I might go into the office. Um, and then I have like loads of other things to do. shocks run through your body like whether it be your back or your arm or your leg or you know your foot have you ever experienced that because when I turned on the camera that's what that was a while ago <sighs> running behind her huge and now I'm starting to like panic I guess because I'm thinking about something else, um, i.e. my videos, I haven't uploaded a video in a minute, and I've been just watching the trend of my videos, and honestly, like, I feel like I could do better, um, but when I seem to upload even three times a week, it was going up last month. Some of the views were going up, but it just kind of wishy-washy with the views. You get me? I try to put out good videos. I try. This is the next stop, Sashana. So you can't say it look good. She looks so cute and just, you know, natural girl next door, dressed with the sleeve off the shoulder. Okay, period. What is that? What is that? What is that that I see on your face? Are those dimples? Oh, period. Period. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, guys. So I'm ending off the daily vlog. I wish I had more to show you. Um, maybe I throw in some things from tomorrow and I also really wanted to head to the gym tonight because for some reason I was like let me just do some upper body but it didn't work out so now I was here talking to um, one of mommy's longtime friends who have been kind of just working with him um, so we we're talking about some cool things for the future I'm gonna get back to that and then I'll catch you guys when I get home might show you guys a part of my nighttime routine as a part of my daily vlog so see you when I get home Bye. alright guys so I went to the gym and I was really excited one I learned a couple lessons though 
too. I was excited. Um, so, went to the gym and I thought, okay, it's going to be nice. I'll just do arms in the evening. Bad, 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 bad idea. Bad idea. Um, so never again will I be coming, at least not to, no. Never again will I be going to any gym in the evening because it was crowded. It was so crowded. Couldn't do jack, jack, jack squat. Um, cause the gym is small and there's already so much people there. They only have three treadmills working. Like, I'm like, y'all got all these other treadmills, like, what's going on? um anywho only three treadmills working only three so i'm like some the math ain't mathing um they got two um what's it called olympic bars the free hold ones only two so in the morning i was fine like everything was cool but now i'm seeing like how much of a problem that really is like you're getting a lot of money a month time there's a lot of people up in that gym there's a lot of people in the gym there was a lot of money in the gym um so it doesn't make sense to me um they only had two that i counted um benches so i'm just doing the math and i'm like it really ain't mathing it's not adding up it's just very frustrating so I'm never coming to the gym in the evening unless I have to and even at that I'd probably only be doing cardio or light weights because these people threw these weights around the place like nobody's business like common decency to put your weights back no okay um I didn't rate that I was not a fan <laughs> Good afternoon. This is Wednesday. I barely vlogged yesterday. I barely vlogged Monday. But I'm piecing together some stuff. So in this part of the vlog, this portion, um, I want to bring you guys along with buying a birthday gift for mi abuela. So, mommy says she wants... What do they call it? A basket? 
you know you know what I'm talking about if you're from the Caribbean um you'll understand the basket them they're everything with the flowers and the peanuts and the chocolate and the teddy bear yeah so she wants something like that I don't know where I would get that um but I'm thinking maybe I can you know make my own or just buy a bunch of stuff and put it together so been thinking that would be a smart idea I wish you would find me for this oh my god how disgusting you really had to do that like cars would really in Jamaica cars will really run you off the road that I like um, so I'm gonna go to York Pharmacy which is further into Hapajri and see if they have anything if not I'll try again tomorrow maybe in Christiana or I try somewhere else before I head to go see grandma um, but now I'm just gonna get some Starbucks and I've tried the let me tell you what it's called I've tried it before a couple times I think here in um, Jamaica and in America I think I tried it before in, no not in Florida in New York I liked it so I'm gonna do the ice brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso and it went viral on TikTok and I think it's supposed to be like you know a tasty drink but yeah I'm about to move up and it smells so good in here like the bakery smells really nice Anywho. So the one I asked for, I don't think they know how to make it. I'll be back. Um, venti. Yeah. Huh? Um, it does come with milk. So I'm not sure. Yeah, it comes with milk. Do you have oat milk? Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah. That drink comes with oat milk. Just B, the letter B. This is the drink that I want. It's the ice brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso. So I'm really hoping it comes out how I want it. I'll show you guys after. Thank you. All right, so now we are back on the road. My phone is actually about to die. My fault for using it all day. I'm not charging it. Um, we're gonna head to York Plaza, and then after that, we're gonna head over to Bay Farm Road. It's been a minute. I've never. I think I've probably only been in this York Plaza once with Mummy. But I've never really been in it, if you get what I'm saying. He said it's past the clock to us, so I have a feeling I can just keep driving down, then make a right. You know? You know what I'm talking about. Make a right at Devon House. And then, yeah. Oh, I think I really... Guys, I don't know. I want some more stuff for us to do. But then I'm 
paying for other stuff and it's like I need to start budgeting my money accordingly I really need to work on that um, cuz I want to do fun things I want to go rafting I want to go zip lining I want to go on the ATV and do all these things but then when you when you look it up it's really costly like some activities be running you seven thousand dollars nine thousand ten thousand dollars per person and i wouldn't want to go entirely uh, entirely alone but i also wouldn't want to subject oh no i wouldn't sorry guys whoa i wouldn't want to subject my friends and family to that type of budget i wouldn't want to subject myself to that um, but I understand things are priced the way they're priced for a reason like people have to get paid things have to be maintained etc etc I understand but channel like COVID just mush up everybody <laughs> so expensive. but this is the drink it's really good that girl he had to go in the back and get somebody because he didn't know which drink I was talking about but he went and got her she know how to make it mm -hmm. I stay up tonight because it's got like four shots of espresso I think let me check he didn't say how much I think it's four shots of espresso oat milk brown sugar I can honestly finish it in one go but I'm not gonna waste my money on it but that's my go-to drink the brown Ice brown sugar oatmeal shake and espresso. All right, so we're leaving this location because they don't have any. They don't have any baskets, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Oh my God, he blocked me in. I hope you don't stay long. Okay, I guess there's a clock tower plaza. I'm just gonna try to go because we don't have parking already and it's been a while since I've walked so let's let's go over in here this is where the teeth them be out in the guys the teeth them be out think me I get robbed to the door it's a sad mistake I mean no for run I mean no for fight is that sad? I'm gonna let go of my things on You can't tea from me. It's a bad idea. Bad, bad, bad idea. One thing I can say though, the teeth them in a town braver than the teeth in my country. Because I feel so secure and good when I'm in country. Like, that's not even going through my mind at all. But when you come to town, them just, the teeth them just confident. So. Yeah. Anyways, I don't really know where the clock tower plaza is. So let me try to find it. Let me ask them on here. Alright, so. We're going um, to the pharmacy. I'll oh, see there. So they just basically told me that there's a next one around the corner. So we're going to check out. This pharmacy first. Then we are gonna check out. I think Hello, it's said it's, Hi. Hi. <laughs> I think it said it's number 15. So we'll we'll go to number 15 next. I wanna do like a shopping video where I buy some clothes from like downtown and film it. I just haven't gotten around to it yet, but I'll definitely do it. There's so much videos that I haven't gotten around to. Not sure if I could film in here so. I'm gonna go inside and let me get right back to you guys. All right, unfortunately, they don't have any. She recommend Fontana, but the price, man. If they're the only option, then I'll go to them. But their, their gift baskets are expensive. But if they're the only option, I'll go to them. Let me check this other pharmacy. And if anything, I'll call mommy and tomorrow before I go down, I buy it at Fontana. But I've gone to 
four places. I think that's quite all right. So much people watch the camera, but then can't take my bag, gotcha. I don't know where this other pharmacy is. And I don't see shop numbers. I'll see there. All right. Guys, look at that. Why are you vlogging in public? pharmacy didn't have any but this little store look cute look fun them little outfits so we're out of luck for today but we will keep trying because he said to check some of the supermarkets because they might have so we'll check just hope that when I get back over there there's nobody blocking me and on top of that I have to go to the gym tonight I completely forgot I brought my clothes with me so I could go, but it's like, I wanna go home. I don't wanna go to the gym. Okay, there's nobody blocking me, so let me hurry up and go about my business. Come on to the people that my road. Oh yeah. It's just a bit more nerve wracking to vlog in public in town, but trust me, once you do it a couple times, you completely get over you completely get over your nerves and it's not that bad. Everybody will look at you. Everybody will stare. But can nobody do nothing? That's how I look at it. do anything so if that's one of your fears if that's one of the reasons why we're not vlogging then don't let that stop you sis don't let that stop you bro all right i'll catch you guys guys when i tell you i need a 24-hour camera crew this man just pulled up next to me well the man of that cussing on I pull up next to me. I talk about him want some of my drinks. So I'm saying, no, it done. I'm saying, the business, he want the more water. I'm what about COVID? He's saying, I care. So I'm sorry, I'm going to start laughing. Um, then he said, take my number. No, he's like, give me your number. Let me not give my number. Then he said, take my number. The man repeats him number and then tell me. I felt like I was in school. He was like, number, 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 number. Repeat it. See me again, watch it. I don't know them to me a record. But that was funny. Mom, remember my number? He's a good teacher. It's from then, you know? Papa Shrimp Mandela, right? Right here. That looks so nice. One thing with Jamaica music will be playing everywhere the way I eat, tell the people the way I eat <laughs> tell the people the way I eat now uh, fried chicken, rice and peas and curry gravy Your recipe that's <laughs> Alright guys. Who may I talk to? You don't know who you talk to? Shady. Yes. It's me to tell you man. How much time did I got you asked me the same thing yesterday? Yeah, you may change your puppy man. Watch ya. I'm gonna tell her for cleaning ears again in her grandma. <laughs> How was your birthday yeah. so far? 
Yeah, it's still hard on your bed. Maybe I'm gonna come visit you today for the day. Eh? Maybe I'm gonna come visit you today for the day. There's nobody not coming to visit me. Mr. Maybe I'm gonna come visit you today. Oh, yeah, man. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Alright guys, I'm at the police station. I my first reaction earlier wasn't to pull out the camera and you know show you guys. I took pictures and videos and I might show you. Um but I was just in an accident. Um it was just very unlucky. Two of our cars are on wrecker. Um, I don't know, like, the next person going always to the next person is wrong. Alright guys, I'm at the insurance, um, so filing the claim, and then from here, um, there's some information that I didn't have on me yesterday that I need to get back to the police station, so after that, I'll have to go and do that. Um, it's so, I'm just glad to be alive, I'm glad to be alive, I'm glad we all walked away, that we all walked away, um, so that's a blessing, but I have to deal with the paperwork, and then I'll get back to you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so, I'm here. It is Sunday. I think it's the day after I last spoke to you guys or the day after I spoke to you. I mean a day. I think it's a good two days or <sighs> I don't even know, man. Yeah. I had to drive. Okay, so if today's Saturday, yeah. So I had to drive to Maypen yesterday. Um Kai lent me her car. And it just felt so, felt so much nerves, so much nerves. I was just so nervous. And then even when we were heading home from the accident and we were with, I was with Chad and he was driving and he was dodging a pothole and there was a car coming, like I was like gripping up. It was just so nerve wracking. But let me continue Come this in, later. Talk about the yard. All right guys, so it's a couple days later, but basically, like what I was saying, I just, you know, just be jumpy, be nervous, but also extra cautious of my surroundings. It's just sad how everything turned out, so, yeah. Went to the insurance agency, filed a report, drew out everything, you know, recalled everything, um, and now it was just a waiting game, and I have to hear back from the police, and then, yeah. Thank God we all walked away with our lives, so I'm very grateful for that. And the car damage isn't too bad. Um, it can definitely be fixed. And um, I asked Chad from his experience, um, you know, how bad the damage looks and how much you would need to fix. And he said it not gonna take. It's obviously gonna take money, but it's not gonna take like hundreds and thousands of dollars to fix so i'm grateful i just have to get you like you know replacement parts and you know have to do body repair and stuff like that but like i'm saying i'm just glad i walked away with my life because it could have been far worse there could have been other factors um at play yeah so I was in just a waiting game. I have no ride. <laughs> I have some content in my head planned, but no way of getting there now. So, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, thank you guys so much. I'm alive. I'm okay. Don't be worried. We're all good. B squad. I'm gonna head into town now, so. 
see you guys whenever there is any update. Alright guys, so moving on from the accident drama, let's get on with the weekly vlog. Today is Monday. Chad and I are going to go buy some Chinese food at this place. Because when I always ask me where the food places are, by Tree Mile in this plaza. Yeah, I like it, it's nice. Let me try my best. Okay, somebody want to show them the food. Because, oh my god. Just take it from here. The food, the Chinese food there is nice. It was nice for a couple years, like a year ago. But I guess with COVID and everything and the lack of customers. But it's still nice. Nice like a Chinese spot. Um, yeah, so we're going to head to my house, pick up some documents and then i'm gonna head on the road head back to kingston handle some insurance business for the car go over to my friend place deal with some things that way and then when i get home tonight i plan to film i plan to film um i just bought some cds i plan to film um a nighttime routine it's been a while since i've done that and tomorrow I'm gonna film a morning routine. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna chat a little bit. I'm gonna eat another second lunch. This is technically breakfast. This is brunch. Um, it's not the best looking look right now, but it was pretty good. I can't wait to get home and film the nighttime routine. And that was. Oh, my tongue's red. <laughs> and that was the mukbang part of the video. Um. I still have to go and do the insurance thing. It's 115 now. So crazy how when you don't have a drive, when you don't have a rack, when you don't have a car, things just look a bit more harder. Obviously, like I knew, but I also live in Portmore. So, you know, as easy as if, you know, I lived in town, I can take a taxi to half a tree, I can take a taxi to Kingston. I don't think I remember not in my years of being back in Jamaica from a move back taking a taxi from Portmore so I take taxi in Kingston all the time especially when I used to come for just summers but not from Portmore to Kingston so that travel time is just longer because I have to take a taxi or a bus and then transfer I probably have two or three transfers that I have to make before I can get where I need to get you get me so yeah. Not used to it, so I hope the car can get fixed and get into better condition soon. And we'll see. Alright, so here I am at the insurance office. I have to get the taxi insurance updated. And after this, I'm gonna go, like I said, to where I need to go to do some other stuff. And then I'm gonna get home. I might go to the gym with Kai, so I'll bring you guys along with me to the gym if I go to the gym. If I don't go to the gym, I'm gonna work out at home because I have my mat and I have my weights, so I'll make that a part of my nighttime routine. But I'll show you a few peaks and then I'm gonna film my nighttime routine. So if I start filming my nighttime routine, then that's the end of the video for today. And then we're gonna continue on with tomorrow, which I'm gonna film my morning routine in the AM. 
and then continue on with my day and then yeah but um not quite sure <laughs> Yeah, on YouTube. All right, guys. So right now, I actually can take off this mask. Right now, I'm just gonna head home. Well, no, I'm gonna head back over to Chad's because I'm driving his car, and then I'm just gonna have him drop me home. Um, yeah, I haven't had a glass of wine since this whole thing, and honestly. I think I deserve at least a glass of wine, so I will see you guys later.